Pearl Harbor. Coordinates 21 deck 2204 N 157 deck 5838 W 21.3679 DEG N 157.9771 DEG W 21.3679 157.9771 Pearl Harbor is a lagoon harbor on the island of Oahu, Hawaii, west of Honolulu. Much of the harbor and surrounding lands is a United States Navy deep water naval base. It is also the headquarters of the United States Pacific Fleet. The attack on Pearl Harbor by the Empire of Japan on Sunday, December 7, 1941 brought the United States into World War II. History Pearl Harbor was originally an extensive deep embayment called Inomi, meaning Pearl Water or Puyuloa meaning, Long Hill by the Hawaiians. Puyuloa was regarded as the neighbor of the dolphin god, Kalahufarao, and his brother, or father, Kaiika, in Hawaiian legends. According to tradition, Kianui, the head of the powerful Wu chiefs, is credited with cutting a navigable channel near the present Puyuloa saltworks, by which he made the estuary, known as Pearl Lake, accessible to navigation. Making due allowance for legendary amplification, the estuary already had an outlet for its waters where the present gap is. But Kianui is typically given the credit for widening and deepening it. 19th century During the early 19th century, Pearl Harbor was not used for large ships due to its shallow entrance. The interest of United States in the Hawaiian Islands followed its whaling and trading ships in the Pacific. As early as 1820, an agent of the United States for Commerce and Seamen was appointed to look after American business in the port of Honolulu. These commercial ties to the American continent were accompanied by the work of the American Board of Commissioners for Foreign Missions. American missionaries and their families became an integral part of the Hawaiian political body. Throughout the 1820s and 1830s, many American warships visited Honolulu. In most cases, the commanding officers carried letters from the U.S. government giving advice on governmental affairs and of the relations of the island nation with foreign powers. In 1841, the newspaper Polynesian, printed in Honolulu, advocated that the U.S. establish a naval base in Hawaii for protection of American citizens engaged in the whaling industry. The British Hawaiian Minister of Foreign Affairs Robert Crichton Willey, remarked in 1840 that, my opinion is that the tide of events rushes on to annexation to the United States. From the conclusion of the Civil War, to the purchase of Alaska, the increased importance of the Pacific states, the projected trade with the Orient, and the desire for a duty-free market for Hawaiian staples, Hawaiian trade expanded. In 1865, the North Pacific Squadron was formed to embrace the western coast and Hawaii. Lackawanna in the following year was assigned to cruise among the islands, a locality of great and increasing interest and importance. This vessel surveyed the northwestern Hawaiian Islands toward Japan. As a result the United States claimed Midway Island. The Secretary of the Navy was able to write in his annual report of 1868, that in November 1867, 42 American flags flew over whale ships and merchant vessels in Honolulu to only six of other nations. This increased activity caused the permanent assignment of at least one warship to Hawaiian waters. It also praised Midway Island as possessing a harbor surpassing Honolulu's. In the following year, Congress approved an appropriation of $50,000 on March 1, 1869, to deepen the approaches to this harbor. After 1868, when the commander of the Pacific Fleet visited the islands to look after American interests, naval officers played an important role in internal affairs. They served as arbitrators in business disputes, negotiators of trade agreements and defenders of law and order. Periodic voyages among the islands and to the mainland aboard U.S. warships were arranged for members of the Hawaiian royal family and important island government officials. When King Lunalilo died in 1873, negotiations were underway for the cessation of Pearl Harbor as a port for the duty-free export of sugar to the U.S. With the election of King Kalakaua in March 1874, 
riots prompted landing of sailors from USS Tuscarora and Portsmouth. The British warship, HMS Tenedos, also landed a token force. During the reign of King Calicor the United States was granted exclusive rights to enter Pearl Harbor and to establish a coaling and repair station. Although this treaty continued in force until August 1898, the U.S. did not fortify Pearl Harbor as a naval base. The shallow entrance constituted a formidable barrier against the use of the deep protected waters of the inner harbor as it had for 60 years. The United States and the Hawaiian Kingdom signed the Reciprocity Treaty of 1875 as supplemented by Convention on December 6, 1884. The Reciprocity Treaty was made by James Carter and ratified it in 1887. On January 20, 1887, the United States Senate allowed the Navy to exclusive right to maintain a coaling and repair station at Pearl Harbor. The U.S. took possession on November 9 that year. The Spanish-American War of 1898 and the desire for the United States to have a permanent presence in the Pacific both contributed to the decision. Naval Presence 1899 Present Following the overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom, the United States Navy established a base on the island in 1899. In 1941, the base was attacked by the Japanese military, causing the American entry into World War II. Over the years, Pearl Harbor remained a main base for the U.S. Pacific Fleet after World War II along with Naval Base San Diego. In 2010, the Navy and the Air Force merged their two nearby bases. Pearl Harbor joined with Hickam Air Force Base to create Joint Base Pearl Harbor 